I take no pride in this question, but Paul Kemp is you. No, not really. I didn't. No? I, I mean, didn't. Uh, well, I, I, since I was doing it right then, I, I was very careful not to make any one character me. But it's not your sensibilities? It's not. Well, my sensibilities really inform all the characters, but I tried to split myself up. I tried to do what uh, Fitzgerald did with, with Gatsby in the, uh, using the Nick Carraway character mm -hmm. and the Gatsby, the Jimmy Gatsby. Mm -hmm. They're both the same people when I was looking, you know, right. from outside. Right, right. And uh, I had a hard time with that. A lot of things look very simple until you try to do them. Yeah, it's like a quintuple flip off a you know, high board. And, uh, yeah, so I was really both of those characters. And uh, the whole thing, is, it's, it's very real. I'm not sure where I find myself, sometimes in Yemen, sometimes yeah. in Kemp. Right. Uh, what's the relationship between Fritz Yemen and his girlfriend? Oh, that's one of these uh, young love things. You know, you fall in love. Uh, uh, at a party in New York and say, well, hey, I got a job in Puerto Rico. Why don't you come on down with me? Yeah. yeah. Come on down. We have a beach house and, uh, you know, yeah. beautiful girl. Uh, so, is Chenault your ex-wife? Well, not really. Not not in any... Like, I, I tried to... You're, you're informed yeah, the by situation. You're informed by everything yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. You know how much I like you. And so, having said that, uh, okay, no, come on. Okay. Look, here it comes. <laughs> right. right, right, right. Why is it that this is the, I mean, here's a guy, you, with your dedication to prose. Why is this, this, the first novel you have written? When you wanted to be a novelist, and don't tell me the answer is because you've been doing all these other things. I mean, is the answer that you sort of, you know. It was not rewarding. Uh? Well, I didn't get paid for it. You know, and that what I saw yeah, there I mean, was. You, you love Conrad this much, and then you, you still can't say that that art is not its own reward. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> art is not its own reward, boy. Where have you been living? <laughs> what? Where have you been living? Yeah, uh, yeah I know. I in know, heaven, know. yeah, in, in heaven. It's like you know. Uh, no, it's not for for a writer, professional writer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, you know, I, I think Truman Capote said it. If it's not published, yeah, it's not there. I didn't do it. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's part of the uh, the process. And the other part is, uh, you must have fuel. You know, and fuel with enough expense money, all things are possible. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that comes from the seventies. That's what things were fun. <laughs> okay, so what's the answer? You nobody paid you enough money to write a novel, or are you? Didn't, you know, you had to go off and do things that you could make money, so you didn't have time. Oh. I mean, these are rather flimsy excuses, aren't they? <laughs> Probably so. You know, they're <laughs> yeah, all, they are. They, they, compared to Conrad, I'm. You know, I just. No, I, well, I no. Shrink, compared to your potential. Flimsy. Uh, maybe compared, I should have no, written writing novels. Compared to your potential, this is. You Charlie, know, this Charlie. is about 35 years too late. Charlie, you were a journalist. Now, what if you had had a choice between <laughs> here you, you had an assignment yeah. to write a book about the Hell's Angels. Right. And you're, you know, you're kind of nursing your <laughs> novel along. It's been rejected seven times by yeah. seven okay. respectable publishers. <laughs> your, your best friend, Kennedy, has told, has right. told you, well, really, that sucks. Yeah, right. And then suddenly... Uh, Somebody comes along with an offer to hey, go off with the Hells Angels. There's a war on. Yeah. You know, and then there was... Uh, in the 60s, there was a war. Right. And I was paid <laughs> at all the expenses I needed to go everywhere you know, on the front. It, was, it really was like uh, a war. And I didn't... Uh, I didn't have the time, uh, you know, to, uh, <laughs> to tend to art. Okay, then why now? Why do you have the time now? I had to make time. Ah, yeah. sir. <laughs> yeah. Is this not self-contradictory? No, no. You I had mean, to make time. You could have made time in the 80s. No, but I could have. Yeah. But this time I had to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do you mean you had to? Well, the book was going to be published. Oh, I see. So, uh, so yeah. you had to finish. Hey, I was prepared to, like anything, that, you know, what, <laughs> let them publish anything after I'm dead. Yeah. But I'm really glad I didn't uh, do that. Did you think well, this was going to be the great American novel when you were writing it? I had that hubris, I guess. 
you know. <laughs> but it, it, it's a great Puerto Rican novel, you know. I think. <laughs> the great Puerto Rican novel. Yeah, yeah. It's a... Uh, yeah. I had a sense it was going to be... Yeah. I had a sense, that sense about everything I was doing. What did uh, you think of the movie uh, about you? That's funny. Johnny Depp asked me that right. question last night on the telephone. <laughs> By the way, I like him a lot. Yeah, I do too. Man, he's, he's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's going to uh, do something. He's going to work in this. We're going to make a movie of this one. This is a melancholy book. Yeah. This is a, this is a, a book. It's good though. He's good. But so he'll play. He'll play Doctor T too, huh? He'll well, play Paul Kemp. There's this room for uh, for movement here. This is this isn't the rigid kind of. Uh, yes. Uh, interior monologue yeah. uh, cell that the uh, Vegas book was like, you know, what, what, yeah. what's happening is what you're thinking, not what's going on. Nobody thinks much here. You know, they do. No, there's not a lot of thinking. It's like, you know. So what did you, how did you answer uh, Johnny Depp's question? What did you think of the movie? Oh, <laughs> I liked it really. It's an experience. The hell you have to uh, you, know, you have to go through the fire and I would have maybe done it differently but I'm not a movie director I'm uh, yeah I'm, I'm good at books so I liked it yeah but I wouldn't uh, no I would recommend it I wouldn't have my yeah you know, my children <laughs> see it every night on <laughs> Is that right? you yeah, but I don't know I don't know how that could how, that book was structured so it's not going to really be edifying. You know, there's no way to make that thing a hero story. Yeah. What people of all kinds of for no reasons and different heritages and criminal <laughs> backgrounds go into a, a scum-ridden place like Las Vegas and behave worse than the the people they're you know viewing. Yeah. So that's not a that's not one of those uplifting books. But I, uh, that was a that was a work of art, in a way. Yeah. 